good people, take a nation of the world. We're back and we have ourselves a trailer for a movie that I was beginning to think was never going to see the light of day. Because at one point, I think Natalie Portman was carrying this movie for a while, but then she ended up dropping out and various directors and actresses. But blah, we're here now. It finally has been made. It's in the can. It's ready. And we have ourselves a first teaser. So let's check this out. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. The adaptation from that popular book that came out a few years back. So let's see if it was worth the wait. Um, not sure. I'm going to reserve judgment. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. To succeed in polite society, a young woman must be many things. Well read and accomplished. But to survive in the world as we know it, she'll need other qualities. <laughs> Come on! Okay, okay, okay. Is that what you're giving us? Ah, come on. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna say that I hope, I hope the people behind this have learned the lesson that, uh, fucking Abraham Lincoln. What the fuck? I got it up here. The Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter bullshit of a movie that this adaptation ended up being. So I just hope they've learned the lesson. It turns out to be a better, more compelling, more fun ride. Uh, like you don't really show much. It's hard to even form an opinion on that because you don't see anything. Next to nothing. It looks visually pretty. It looks like it's been well directed. You know, at least that's a, a, a plus point to start with. It's got a decent solid cast from who I could tell who I recognise. Forgetting the lead actress's name was in uh, Pride and Prejudice. No. And Downton Abbey. And uh, most recently the Cinderella movie. So she's um the live action Cinderella movie. So she's good. I like her. She's leading this. That's the role that Natalie Portman was gonna take a few years back. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic this could turn into this could be a half decent fun movie. At, at the very least, it could be a fun movie. That's what it needs to be. You know, no one really expects it to be that deep. No one expects it to be a cerebral, violent action movie. But it just needs to be fun, funny, and enjoyable. Better than fucking Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter, because that shit was garbage. Like, I was literally mad watching that film. I was in the cinema, paid my money. And before even halfway, I was just mad. I was just like, I paid for this shit. Like, this is the guy, this is the director behind the Night Watch and Day Watch. Uh, did what? But, uh, but enough about that. Let's hope, let's hope. Fingers crossed. This could be fun, this could be fun. So, time will tell. What do you guys think? Did you read the book? I never actually read the Pride and Prejudice the Zombies book. I read a little bit of it. But I don't know, I didn't really hold my attention that much. Well, maybe you guys read it, let me know. Is it, do you see it in your head from what you read from the books? Could it be made into a decent? Could you see visually the potential there for a good movie? Let me know. Make right, comments down below if you like the video. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I made a reason this has been my first take to Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Mr. Dotson.